Okay, so I want to talk about the fact that this um, testimony today in the Karen Reed trial regarding the officer Albert on the stand, the defense is giving him the ability to just act like there's no data, like the data is gone. And I have a problem with that because as a seasoned defense attorney, he should know better. But I think he's trying to present that he was acting, you know, corruptly to try to go with the idea of cover-up. When in fact he did not, from what I heard, heard, did not even ask the man if he got rid of his phone. He said he upgraded it. That doesn't mean you traded it. In fact, he even testified that it was broken. It was his birthday and that's why he upgraded. So, regardless of whether or not he got rid of that phone in an upgrade, which I don't think he did because he didn't even ask him, that doesn't mean any data is lost. So this is Scott Goldman, co-founder and CEO of TextPower Incorporated, okay, a company that provides alerts on authenticated services using text messaging. It's, he says, can you get, the, ask, the question was, can you get text messages from old cell phones from five years ago? He says it's possible but highly unlikely. Now look at what he says. Our company, and this is standard, is required by carriers to maintain records of messages for two years. Not the phone, not the person who owns the phone, the account, the phone number. The company is required by carriers to maintain records of messages for two years. So just because he upgraded his phone does not mean that data is lost. And there's this, and I'm not sure how accurate this is, but it says phone text communications are kept in federal archives for generations. Deleting them from your phone does not delete them. Your phone storage means nothing. The communication and context you've communicated will be held on record for like 100 years. That was February 2024, somebody said. Now that doesn't make that that's accurate, but the point is, that is not lost. This would probably be more of an accurate answer. There's not a specific time frame for how long police can retrieve, delete, message, and storage, service plan, type of phone, all are varying factors. They can still only access, access records that still exist. But when it comes to law enforcement, let's talk about that. How do police and forensic analysts recover deleted data? We're talking data that was deleted. Not data that was like from upgrade or you no longer have the phone. Remember, it's all connected to the account, not the phone. Here's an article referenced into a 2014 case. That was 10 years ago. A mobile forensic investigation takes place when the data on a phone is crucial to a case. Two Minnesota girls went missing. Digital forensics help police find their abductor. There's another one that says, do police have access to your deleted text message? If they really wanted them for legit reason, yes, absolutely. All they would have to do is subpoena your cell phone company. You'll probably get the information emailed to them by end of business that same day. Here's another one. Active sworn peace officer. Yes, I've written and had approved plenty of search warrants for a suspect cell phone, including their text message history from the carrier. Even deleted text messages stick around for a while. They can either be recovered physically on the cell phone through the use of specialized software that looks for the ghost of the messages in the phone memory, or more easily, through the phone carrier, like Verizon or AT&T. Phone companies usually keep logs of everything from texts, calls, data usages, and even GPS of the phone's current and past locations. Through a court order warrant, we can demand and receive copies of all this information. Keep in mind we aren't out there looking through everyone's phones. Now, here's the thing. Maybe the defense lawyer doesn't want to see the data. So maybe he'd rather push the idea that all the data is lost caused by their non-compliance with the court order to push that idea of the cover-up. And I'm not saying there's not a cover-up. I'm just saying to push something that's not true, that the data is lost, when you know that there's many times that they can receive that data from the phone carriers that are himself, and you're not even trying to do that. Or maybe he did and was told that they didn't have it. I don't know. But all I know is he's trying to say that just because he upgraded his phone that the data's lost. And he said that he believed that everything was transferred. So I don't know if they're just not getting stuff. But I haven't heard what his position on 
Did he subpoena the phone carriers for all of his records? I haven't heard that. Maybe somebody else has and would appreciate somebody to chime in and say, yes, at such and such time, I've heard this defense lawyer say that he subpoenaed the phone carrier company to get the data. That would be the first thing you do to try to get discovery, not just rely on them to give you what they have. He can subpoena Dukas Tecum, a phone carrier, to get all the data for a specific time period to get the judge to sign off on it and that's how you get the data people so I don't believe I don't accept that this data is gone now he talked about the the butt dial if you will um that happened about the same time that um allegedly Jen McCabe had googled around two something googled um how long to die in the snow this was about the same time that his phone mysteriously called um, the deceased and my personal opinion and thought on that is that okay well that they, they did say the prosecution that they're going to prove with his own phone me mr. Keefe's phone that he never made it in that house okay and so if he's lying out there in the snow and he's you know calling them and if they can pinpoint ping his phone to a specific location um, like out, you know, 20 feet away or 50 feet away or whatever in the snow, then that would explain why he would have a mysterious accidental call to show that he wasn't even in his house. But that accidental call suspiciously happened around the same time that Jim McCabe allegedly did Google how long to die in the snow. So anyways, what do you think about this phone data? Have you ever been able to um, upgrade and keep your phone and have all the data still in your phone? And again, he transferred all his data. So I'm just really not understanding why this defense lawyer is not getting this data from these people. You know, are they being told that they don't have the data? Because that's not what I'm hearing. Did they at any time subpoena? Did they specifically subpoena the phone company? Because I haven't heard they did that. Maybe they did and I missed it.